Okay, so welcome to Litson RV. One of the biggest benefits that we've provided our guests is the opportunity to connect with them throughout the world. What we're gonna do today and throughout the course of the next few snippets is show you and demonstrate for you how long this compressor-driven refrigerator will actually run off of the 12-volt system in this, the 2016 Winnebago Touring Coach Travato 59K. So we're in the twin bed floor plan, and if you can picture this, you've actually just reached your destination. We have fully charged RV batteries. We've actually had the fridge pre-cool all the way down to its designated temperature at 37 degrees. So Nicole, if you can just zoom into there, we have a refrigerator that has been cooled all the way down to 37 degrees, simulating the way that you'd actually reach your destination. So the question becomes, how long will this refrigerator stay cool if I'm off the grid camping and only utilizing the 12 volt system in the coach? Keep in mind the coach has a 100 watt solar panel charger up on the roof with the ZAMP controller integrated into the one place panel to the rear. So it's eight o'clock today on Friday morning and we're gonna see how long this fridge will stay cool in the 12 volt system. So Nicole, if you can join me here to the rear. Integrated into this panel, this is the ZAMP solar charge controller. So again, a 100 watt panel up on the roof. You can see we have a fully charged 12 volt system right now at 12.6 volts. And again, it's eight o'clock on a Friday morning. Let's see what happens over the course of the next couple days. This morning we started an experiment to see how long we could keep this refrigerator maintained at a constant temp using just our batteries and our solar panel. Uh, we started the experiment at 8 o'clock this morning and uh, it's noon. Today it's a gorgeous blue sky, sunny day, and uh, we just wanted to check in and see where we were at with the experiment. The battery uh, has been man maintained as well as the refrigerator. Uh, temperature is identical to what it was this morning when Ron started this experiment at 8 o'clock. Stay tuned, uh, we're gonna do another check-in at 5 p.m. Hi, this is Reed, it's five o'clock. Uh, the sun is starting to set. We're gonna check the thermostat in the refrigerator. It is still holding steady as it was at uh, 8 a.m. this morning. Battery charge is still at uh, 12.6, so we're still full batteries. We will continue this experiment. We're gonna leave it on through the night. We'll be back in to do another result at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Jason Sprecher uh, from Litson RV. We're going to continue our test. It's uh, Saturday morning at about 8 a.m. It's a beautiful fall day here. Looks like we're gonna have a lot of sunshine. So we're gonna check to see where our temperature is of the fridge, and then we're gonna see where our batteries are holding uh, from the solar. So we'll check this first. Okay, so it looks like our temperature is the same as last night, so that's holding. And now we'll check the batteries. <clears throat> and it looks like our batteries are holding at about 50%. Um, but keep in mind that we're just coming from overnight. Uh, we don't even have the sun up in the sky yet, so we'll check back in a couple hours and uh, give you guys another update as to where we're at then. It is a Saturday afternoon um, and we are continuing our solar uh, experiment. Uh, the outside temperature is in the mid uh, 60s and we've got uh, clear sky, sunshine. Um, so we wanted to uh, get back to the temperature on our refrigerator, uh, which again is, is running off the batteries, being charged by solar, and it is maintaining that same temperature um, for the last 30 plus hours since we started this uh, uh, yesterday morning. So, um, and then the second part of that is obviously the solar charge controller. Earlier today it was uh, half as far as the uh, the levels of the battery and now it's up to three quarters. So it's definitely taking advantage of the uh, clear skies here today and uh, charging those house batteries which again the refrigerator is running off of. Um, we're going to let this cook over the weekend and uh, come back Monday with Nicole and see where everything's at, see how it functioned uh, over the weekend. and. Um, so we will check back on Monday. Good morning, it's Nicole Fullman here at Litson Motors in Forest City. It's Monday morning. It's uh, day four of our experiment. Obviously the sun has just come up. It's about 8 a.m. here. And uh, we just wanna check in and see how things are going with the solar panel on this Travato. Uh, we take a look at the refrigerator here. The temperature is actually the same as uh, when we started this experiment four days ago. And if we head over to the battery panel, 
Uh, right now we're down to about a fourth of a charge. However, you have to remember that it is the morning. It's still not quite sunny on the Travato yet, but uh, we'll actually wrap everything up this afternoon with what the final result is. Hi, I'm Nicole with Litson RV, and we are nearing the end of day four of our experiment. It's Monday afternoon, uh, almost 5 p.m., end of the workday, and we are wrapping up our experiment that uh, we started four days ago. Uh, this morning was the last time we checked uh, our, our solar panel. We're sitting at 25% battery. We were this morning as well. We've had a day of clouds. It's been very overcast today. So I think that's a positive thing that it's just maintained right at that 25%. Our refrigerator temp has remained a constant all four days, which I think is awesome. Uh, a couple of our customers had asked us, you know, how long can I use that refrigerator in the Travato 59K? Um, just on batteries and that's what led us to this experiment. So if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. If we don't know the answer, we're going to do our best to find out. Thanks so much. Take care.